Cosmos. Tonight, a pilot's miraculous escape at Saunders Beach. Mango farmers count the cost following a freak storm. And North Queensland pauses to remember those who served. Good evening, thanks for joining us. A 55-year-old commercial pilot had a miraculous escape this morning after his Cessna crash-landed at Saunders Beach. It's believed water in the fuel tank may have caused the engine to stall. Incredible stuff. The jury has begun deliberating in the trial of a man accused of attempting to murder a police officer in 2013. Andrew Max Wilson pleaded not guilty to charges of attempted murder and grievous bodily harm and guilty to the charge of unlawful wounding. This week, the Supreme Court heard how Wilson had planned to attack Sergeant Michael Sands, but instead stabbed Senior Constable Luke Weeks in the stairwell of Santa Fe Gold before attempting to slash his own throat. Wilson claims he was not trying to kill the officer, but rather commit suicide by cop. A freak storm has devastated burdock and mango farmers with one predicting he'll lose 90% of his fruit to the tune of $100,000. Producers are already looking to governments for disaster relief grants with many facing substantial... The city stopped today to remember Australia's fallen heroes 97 years after the end of World War I. Some veterans say they still see the ghosts of our servicemen and women who gave their lives on the... CSIRO scientists say they've caught an adult spear-toothed shark for the very first time. The shark lives in remote parts of the Cape and are critically endangered in Australia. Now for a quick look at the weather, it's over to Hannah and Han. How, uh, how are these stormy skies looking? Well, Tash, we will continue to see some unsettled weather tonight with some showers and thunderstorms forecast. Now, tomorrow and Friday looking a little bit more settled with just a couple of isolated showers. Storms may continue inland and then spread right across the region again into the weekend. I'll be back later, though, with all the details. Sounds good. Thanks, Han. Stay with us after the break. School is swap partying for volunteering in Nepal. An infantry training fast track to bolster the armed forces. A Current Affair is next on Jam. Welcome back. A JCU scientist has been given the green light to continue research into a revolutionary treatment of celiac disease. Almost $900,000 has been granted to further investigate the use of hookworms to stop the immune system from reacting to gluten. 40 patients will be injected with larvae as a follow-up to a pilot study that suggested the parasite increases tolerance to foods. Scientists are working to isolate the active protein, but initially studies involve infecting the patient with the hookworm. The Army Reserve is fast-tracking its infantry training in a bid to attract more recruits. Training that normally takes two years to complete has been condensed into a four-month program. Right, there's plenty of time to party after. That's right, good stuff, good <laughs> Great kids. Great stuff. Sport time now at Link and two young Cowboys players are ready for some in-house competition. What's Starting going on there? early, Tash, good evening. Healthy rivalries are already being built in Cowboys camp. More on that next. Plus, Brian Conklin speaks out about last week's controversial elbow clash. Welcome back. Crocs captain Brian Conklin has opened up about the emotional journey sparked by last week's unfortunate elbow to the jaw of Perth's Damien Martin. From being called a grub to facing the tribunal to then being cleared of all wrongdoing, Conklin says it's a time he never wants to relive. Cowboys hooker Jake Granville believes he's far from assured first crack at the position as the Cowboys prepare to launch their premiership defence. He, like several others vying for an NRL spot, will start pre-season from scratch and competition will be fierce. Rugby Sevens is on the rise and Townsville has been identified as a prime recruitment area. At the recent Rugby Sevens carnival, Queensland scouts cast their eyes across what the region has to offer and they were pleasantly surprised. Wouldn't it be fantastic to have some locals to cheer on in Rio? Looking forward to that Sneaking as well. Sneaking up on us, Absolutely isn't it? Absolutely, next year. Thanks, Link. Stay with us. Up next, Hannah in. she'll have the latest weather forecast.
Good evening everyone. We have got some showers and thunderstorms forecast throughout the night tonight that will continue for the northern goldfields into the next couple of days but it's looking a little bit more settled closer to the coastline from tomorrow. So tomorrow and Friday will generally be fine apart from just the slight chance of some isolated showers. That's around the Herbert and Lower Burdekin, so the Townsville region. As we move into the weekend though, those showers and storms will yet again spread closer towards the coastline. I'll explain where it's all coming from in just a moment. Thank you though to Judy Leo Satos for tonight photo it was taken around the strand a beautiful picture there and if you also have some weather pics you would like to see on tv you can send me an email or contact me on my facebook and twitter account so let's check out those temperatures now for alba beach today your top was 29 degrees less than a millimeter of rain 31 for townsville as well as ingham 27 for lucinda today and 29 around cardwell douglas today recorded a top of 32 23 last night uh, for charters towers it was quite a hot day with 35 and 31 around Air and Bowen. So moving on to the satellite imagery, you can see here we've got that surface trough extending across western parts of the state surrounding that system. Quite a bit of cloud cover, some showers and thunderstorms as well, and those storms have extended into tropical parts of the state as well today. So we will continue to see showers and storms tonight. They are definitely looking less likely into tomorrow and Friday. As you can see here, quite a bit of that cloud cover across tropical regions. It's a very bright looking puffy cloud on the satellite chart, developing throughout the afternoon quite uh, dramatically as well so that's a good indication of some thunderstorm activity. So into the next couple of days you can see most of those storms will retreat inland. That surface trough will edge closer towards the east coast into tomorrow and Friday. So thunderstorm activity will continue for parts of the tropical interior down into central regions and the southern inland and then as you can see here that is gradually going to push closer to the coastline. So we may again see some showers and storms for the tropics as we move into the weekend. You can see it extending a little further south as well. So tomorrow we've got the chance of some showers, thunderstorms around the uh, inland parts, around the northwest. Fire danger tomorrow is forecast to be high for Townsville. Slight chance of a shower with 31 degrees. Possible showers for air as well and 29 for Bowen. We have got a few showers and some thunderstorms forecast for western parts of the northern goldfields. Charters Towers tomorrow should be partly cloudy with 34 degrees and high fire danger is forecast tomorrow. Now offshore we have east to southeasterly winds reaching around 10 to 15 knots, seas and swell tomorrow up around the one metre mark. Low tide for Townsville is at 3.28, 3.16 for Lucinda. High tide tomorrow is at 11 minutes past nine and we have the sun setting tomorrow in Townsville at 6.26. It will be rising at 5.28. So tomorrow we have got a couple of showers forecast with 31 degrees, partly cloudy on Friday and 31 with some thunderstorms forecast for Saturday and maybe Sunday too. So have a great night everyone. Tash and Link, it's back to you. Thanks Han and that's Win News for this Wednesday. We're also online. Stay up to date with your local breaking news across the north and in Townsville on the Win News Townsville Facebook page. Otherwise join us again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock as always. Thanks for your company. Good night. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation. Win News, Regional Australia's number one news source.